Yep, Atlanta's number one boss station. It's Album 79. Your dirty J. Nicks the flies got ready. Look, it's all about that trapping out the trap house. Big Stewie checking in. You know, I always run across cats. I always give my opportunity to chat, see what the hell's going on. Ran across this guy by the name of RG Fly. What's popping, my boy? You, you, Big Stu. What's going on? Man, what's, what's going dog? on, man? So tell me a little bit about yourself, man. Where you from? Um, originally I'm from New Jersey, bro. I moved out here maybe like two years ago. Um, try to pursue my uh, music career, and so far I've been looking good. I just been, you know. Then, like, you know, pretty much networking with different artists, uh, doing shows, um, you know, trying to see what's out here in, in the streets of Atlanta, man, trying to, you know, chase my dream. That's so, all. So, so you actually living out here right now? Yeah, absolutely. I'm maybe like 20 minutes from downtown. But Okay. So how you how you adapting? You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of competition lovely, out here, man. man. I mean, I'm, I'm eating, bro. I'm good over here, bro. But like, I'm saying it's a lot of competition out here. Like, lot, these, these boys out here really take this like the NBA, of, I feel like, of music right now. Yeah, it definitely is a lot of competition, man. It's a lot of um, talented artists out here, man, but... I just feel like what I'm about to bring to the table in my vision, it's gonna be definitely something different, bro. So what's like, that? <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your music, your your music style. Um, I got a little bit of pain music, a little bit of um, a little bit of music that, that you know gets you all turned up, gets you lit club music. But um, I'm I'm realizing the music that's selling out here, that's really big out here, is that you know that club banger, them, 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 that drill music, and um, you know, so I'm just pretty much keep adapting and keep revolving, man. That's all, bro. I got a lot of music. I'm working on a lot. And um, it's a lot of def- definitely a lot of plans, man. A lot of plans, man, for my future, man. So how long you actually been rapping doing music? Uh, I've been I've been doing music for maybe about two years. Okay, about so you fresh years. in it. I'm kind of fresh in, so man. What made so what you what made you decide to do that? Because I know uh, like because all these rappers getting locked up and they dying, man. Yo, it's you know de- I ain't gonna lie, man. It's, Lately, it's, it's bro, all time high. I feel like in my in my career, I've never seen this much. You yeah, know what absolutely, saying? man. So it's what a made lot. you make this as your career? Why? Why? Why music? I don't know, man. It's not even it's not even so much of the fame. I just feel like it's a definitely a, a way to you know feed your family and and provide be a good provider for your family and do a lot of things, man. That I wasn't able to do as a kid. So I want to be able to provide for my kids, man, and just open up so many different doors for them in in all angles, bro. Nothing but positive movement, though. Nothing negative. Okay. I'm just trying to you know just show them. Uh, the different things that they could be into that's positive that's all around them bro okay so you know it's, it's looking good so far Vic Stu real I ain't talk, man, man. speaking of uh, family man parents mm-hmm. how was you raised like what was it like growing up in Jersey how uh, was it raised how was it like growing up in Jersey first uh, growing up in Jersey man it was a little it's a little crazy different little areas man but luckily I was blessed to kind of not like get caught up in a lot of stuff that was going on out there man I got a lot of family and some of the some of the wild parts, uh, a lot of people know him as like Newark, New Jersey, mm-hmm. not too far from New York, right down the street from New York, man. So it was a lot of killing, a lot of you know hustling out there, man. Like, but I always was just like like level headed, and I, I never wanted to really get involved in none of that, man. I know okay. I had kids, um, and I just had a different um, I had a different um, out a, a different outlook on my life on on what I wanted my life to be. So I just say, you know, I'm I, I'm not gonna say I was I was never a saint, man. I had my little time being locked up. I feel I like everybody has. Yeah, exactly. I don't been hustling. I don't been robbing, doing all that crazy nonsense, man. Like, but now I just feel like I'm focused, man. Like I see a, a crazy vision with myself, man. I'm talented. I'm fly, man. You okay. feel me? Like, okay. I mean, you know, like, I ain't mad. it's it's a lot of good things that that, that the Lord, good Lord, been blessing me. With. God bless, good Lord, been blessing me with, man. Like. So um, I'm just trying to just take over, man. I feel like um, rest in peace, take off, man. A lot of these artists, man, they've been like you said. Is is, is I've been kind of at one point, man. I was second guessing doing it, like you said. It's dangerous, bro. It's almost like right. It's almost like you the put secret service spotlight. Yeah, it's almost like the secret service, bro. Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But um, I I do think it's um about how you move, like as an artist. A lot of these artists, man, they kind of pit themselves in situations that they don't really need to, man. Like I mean, that don't take away the pain that our families feel, you know, that right. when when things happen, man. But I just, you know, I just feel like, ah, uh, man, it's it's dangerous out here, bro. It's really dangerous out here, man. Like, but it's all about life is what you make it, man. Right, I just facts. know, you know, I I feel like if I get this opportunity, I'm gonna show some artists how to really like, you know, how to move real smart, bro. Like once you reach a certain peak, a level in life, man, you can't. I feel like they aren't, they aren't, they pretty much underestimate they their own status. Right. Like you know, like you, you can't move the same, man. You can still give back. You can still show love. You, but you can gotta still, move differently. Gotta move differently, man. You don't gotta take pictures and show your 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 your, your locations and show your food. You don't gotta do all that, right. man. You could just. Give I think back. I think it's just because like Instagram and social media is really just kind of taking over the world. So tell me this, like you sound like you got some sense. So how was it growing up as far as with parents? Because I always ask our artists that because sometimes you get mm-hmm. a good glimpse of who somebody is as a person depending on how their family. Um, my parents was uh together. My, oh, yeah, my mom, well, together. my mom and my dad split up when I was real young. And, um, she got with my stepfather that pretty much played that role in my life since up until like maybe like two years ago. They kind they eventually split up, uh-huh. but they. 
day, we always kept a real tight relationship with me, me and him, and my sisters so, and him. So how how was that an importance in your life? Because I feel like I, I've always talked about that, and I always push that that um that level of just a black men and men just staying in young cats' lives anyway. Because I just feel like we turn out differently. How how was that? How did he play a part in your life? Um, he pretty he pretty much kept me focused, man. Like I always feel like it's real important for a father to play a role in any kids. Like this is as important as a mother, man. You gotta you know you gotta teach them things, teach them the birds and the bees. Teach them respect, teach them discipline and loyalty, and teach them, um, you know, pretty much how to stay focused. And it's not about just book smart all the time and school right. smart. You want your kids and you know your family to know a little bit of street smart and how to move out here because it could get you killed, bro. Like, come on now, it could definitely get get you killed, man. It could get you robbed. I done been around it, I seen it all, man. My, man, it's, it's it's the way, man. The way this, the, <laughs> the way this, these these. These rappers be losing their life, bro, and just getting caught up, man. I just be like, bro, only if certain people had the opportunity, they, I knew they wouldn't play with it. I know me. I'm going to speak for myself. I wouldn't right. play with it, bro. Like, Thanks. I'm, I'm going to go full throttle, and I'm going to do it the right way, bro. Like, But my mom, man, I always had a um, strong mom. She always, you know, spoiled me, gave me whatever I want, gave my sisters whatever I want. Uh, um, and she she pretty much kept me in school, kept me focused. And, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't ever, like, no super good kid, man. Like, <laughs> But I, you know, I got I got involved in different things, man. But I was always like smart enough, and God always gave me a little bit of wisdom enough to kind of swindle up out of there, like okay. before something real crazy happened. You no, know, I feel that. Now, and, um, I, I heard you speaking of your kids. You know what I'm saying, kids. Like, how's it balancing music and, and, and family life? I know that sometimes uh, could be difficult. You know what I mean? We chase dreams and we try to grind so hard, and yeah. sometimes you know. One either fall to the wayside. How do you balance that? It's definitely hard, bro. Like, cause my kids, I got four sons. Two of them still out in Jersey. Two of them I live with with okay. my girl out here, and um, it'd be a lot, man. Like, sometimes I feel like like you can't give, you, you can't give the same amount of time as you as you put in into your kids, which you you know, with chasing your dreams and chasing all your goals, but. At the same time, you want to you want a better life for them. So it's right. like it's, it is hard to kind of juggle the two, but. I feel like it's always a balance, man. You can always kind of create a small balance, man, and you know, because your, your, your kids need you, bro. Thanks. Your kids need you, man. That's another th- another another reason why a lot of these kids ending up, you know, in jail or dead at a young age because they ain't probably had a good father figure, man. But that's one thing I'm not gonna, man. This is, my kids is my everything, bro. Right. Like that's my world, man. Like I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, absolutely, man. So I'm just trying to be a better person for them first and foremost before music before. I'm just trying to be better myself. You know, God ain't through with me yet. I'm right. definitely a firm believer in God. I feel like, he, like he's the most high. I don't go to church a, a, a week or a Sunday, but I definitely pray a lot. I talk to him a lot, man. And, I think that's know. all that counts. Like, yeah, I feel like you just got to have somebody, a higher being that you can talk to, you know what I'm saying, when times get rough. Yeah, so t- tell absolutely. me this, um, like even with the sons, like what would you tell these young black fathers out here about how important it is for them to stay in their son's life because you, you're you dealing with a hands-on. We did with so many black-on-black crime. We did with the police brutality. We did with so many different so things, much. especially as b- your black men now. Yeah. So like yes. being a father and being able to protect your son and somebody being able to be able to answer his cries, and answer his yeah. calls, like how important is that to you? And, and what would you tell that young cat? Oh man, it's like the most important man. Like if you really want to, you know, you know, want the best life out of your kid, man, it, it start from being young and teaching them and installing in them the things that they need to really make it through this life, man. I'm talking about as far as females, as far as how important it is to stay in school, how how important it is to. Nowadays, like you said, man, we getting killed by the cops, man. I I actually started realizing that I got to start explaining to what I have to start explaining to my kids on how to get stopped by the cops, bro. Mm. Like, and it, it get real, bro. Like, my one of my, my oldest son, he taller than me now, man, 19 years old. Uh, um, You know, I just be telling him, man, like, if no matter what, man, if a cop stop you, bro, just just don't don't panic. Don't reach for nothing. Don't do nothing stupid because you tall, bro. Even if you're young right. to them. Your Even man. if they know you young, right. they're going to say that they have they a certain fear with, with, with black men, period. Exactly. They fear us, bro. Like, and it's, it's, it's messed up. It's sad, man. Like, but it's what we're dealing with right now, man. It's, it's really society, man. But, you know, if you really teach your kids the right, you know, how to stay from the wrong crowd, bro, like, stay from the wrong places, man. Just do nothing but positive. Do, do things that make you happy, man. Chase, chase your dreams. Chase your goals, man. Have fun, but be smart, man. Don't just be. Don't just go anywhere and be. You got to go to every party. You got to go to every club. Man. I'm, me personally, I'm an in-house person, bro. Like <laughs> my girl, be having to try and get me out the house, man. But like, I just I mean, feel you like, know better. You grown, so you know what's out here in these streets. You know, if you ain't got no business being out there, what's the point? Definitely, it ain't, bro. Especially like, if you ain't, ain't getting no money. <laughs> exactly, bro. You know if ain't no money, man. Or I ain't going to no event or no show. I've been doing shows out here, so you know, trying to build my fan base up. And if it ain't nothing like that pertaining to that, or taking my family out as a whole. 
bro. I, I'm You're in the cool. crib, bro. Like, I ain't mad. I'm in the crib, bro. It's dangerous, man. Like, and I just feel for all these rats, especially rappers and just young black men, Perry. Not even just rappers, bro. Young black men, man. We losing our lives, bro. And it's a big fight. It's a war going on, bro. And we gotta be, we gotta wisen up, man. Like, rest in peace. I'm gonna say again, take off, man. Like, that's 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 a that was one of my it's a good artist right there, bro. Right, I ain't gonna right. say he's my favorite, but one of my one of my favorites, like. And it's just sad, man, that his situation and a lot of, like, you know, a lot of men of his caliber, like, they lose their life and it'd be, like, uncalled for, bro. Like, right, facts. don't got to be that way. <laughs> well, man, you make sure you be safe, dog. How can they get in contact with you on Instagram? Uh, RGFly429, uh, everything lowercase, RGFly429, man. Y'all get at me, man. And, and I heard some records, man. You picked a single yet? What single you going with, dog? Oh, man. You got some sliders over there. Uh, More Money, man, is out right now on all platforms, man. Like, it's, it's definitely wavy, bro. I've been getting a lot of good um, advice, good feedback on it, man. And they loving it, man. The streets, bro. They, they got something coming to them, bro. You, you got definitely videos got yet? Something. Yeah, I definitely made a um, visual, uh, a visual, uh, and like a pretty much like an end studio vi um, video. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually working on a, a main, a, a pretty much another video. Okay. Um, but I definitely got a visual out right now, and it's definitely lit. It's lit. It's, okay. it's wavy, okay. man. So just be looking out for me, man. I'm telling you, I'm turning up, man. All right, G Fly, ladies and gentlemen, man. I see you got the girl Rocky in here. You know what I'm saying? Rocky, Shout out to Rocky, man. I appreciate y'all for having me, man. And just, you know, just be listening out for me, bro. And I need y'all in my corner, man. RG Fly, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all make sure y'all follow me at Good Graham. You know what I'm saying? Stream mm -hmm. that music. Support them. Support them. Smart. Support black men. Support, support black fathers. Black yes, Definitely going absolutely. down, man. Trapping on the trap house. Big Stu. Yes, Lord.